For the first time since her ex-husband Kyle Walker and his wife Annie Kilner had a fourth child, Lauren Goodman appeared tense. The 33-year-old TV personality was spotted on Wednesday appearing uncomfortable while taking a phone call in Sussex. Intriguingly, she was holding another phone in her free hand. She had been on her phone hours earlier for another purpose, making a barely disguised jab at Annie, her romantic competitor. On Tuesday, Lauren used Instagram to express her gratitude for having a perfect family made up of a daughter and a son. Annie and Kyle had welcomed their fourth son together a few days prior. In addition to being parents to Roman, 11, Rian, 7, and Rain, 5, the couple does not have any daughters. Lauren appeared nervous throughout the phone call. Lauren rose to stardom thanks to her younger sister Chloe Goodman, of X on the Beach and celebrity Big Brother fame. She accessorized with a colorful pair of Nike sneakers and a baseball cap, wearing a casual outfit consisting of a purple leggings and khaki jumper. Lauren posted an image to Instagram earlier this week with the caption, Sometimes a perfect family is just a mom and her kids. One of each, blue heart, pink heart, was how she captioned the photo. Their affection for one other is flawless. Not a more blessed person. Little one has already undergone a great deal of change, and as the school year draws near, Cairo Walker is losing his newborn traits. Maturing quickly. Italics, the couple is reported to be overjoyed at the safe arrival of their child, with Annie finding the previous few months' tension to be very difficult. According to an insider, Annie has been going through a devastating and difficult period of time lately. She found out in December that her husband Kyle was the father of another kid with Instagram celebrity Lauren. Since January, he has been renting a property separate from the family residence, but they have persisted in co-parenting and are making an effort to mend their marriage. Annie found the media attention throughout the later weeks of her pregnancy to be quite challenging, and she was afraid that the stress would have an adverse effect on the unborn child. Lauren's social media posts and interviews at the time added to the drama, and Sian, Annie's sister, talked about the cruel toll it had taken at the time on her. The whole family is absolutely thrilled about the baby, the buddy stated. For them all, it is a source of happiness and relief. From now on, they wish to go on with their lives and put an end to the drama. We think Kyle was with Annie in the hospital to support her as planned when the kid was born over the weekend. Throughout everything that has happened, Kyle has been a very good and involved father. He is trying to mend his connection with Annie, and who knows what the future will bring. He's still in his own space. They haven't reconciled completely yet. They do, nevertheless, wish to convey the idea that they are one big family. He will still have Annie's support, and they both acknowledge that their family comes first. When England played Brazil at Wembley last month, Kyle's three sons ran out as the mascots. There are rumors that the whole family, including Annie and the baby, might attend the pivotal Champions League match against Real Madrid on Wednesday in order to support him. This summer, the entire family is anticipated to cheer Kyle on in the Euros. Before Lauren and Kyle welcomed Cairo into the world the next year, they had a brief affair in 2019. He was conceived during Walker's brief separation from Annie, his long-term partner at the time. After dating for a while in school, Annie and Kyle got back together and were married in November 2021. However, while in London getting treatment for a groin ailment in October 2022, he had another sexual encounter with Lauren. In the summer of 2023, she gave birth to a girl, her second child. Lauren stated that she was the one who wanted everything to be made public in an initial interview where she disclosed the father of her second child's name. She added, It had to be out in the open for all of our sakes. I didn't want them, Kyle and Annie, to split up or cause harm. She had FaceTimed with Annie in December of last year and had shown her their daughter's DNA test. According to Lauren, Kyle had been living a double life and playing the two ladies off against one another for the duration of their long-term relationship. In response, Kyle called Annie his sole love and pleaded with her for forgiveness in a Sunday interview with The Sun. A sorrowful man, he spoke of stupid choices and idiot decisions. Furthermore, 
He stated that he had only had two sexual encounters with Lauren, both of which resulted in a child. There was no relationship, he declared. It is an assertion Lauren could never make. Either have we ever gone to the movies or out to eat. If I were to get into a relationship with someone, would she even realize how much sugar is in my coffee? She was unable to inform you. Lauren had me trapped in a corner since October, when she told me about the second child. Kyle stated in an interview with The Sun she was in a position of authority, therefore I would question. How high? If she asked me to jump, this was done in response to escalating and irrational requests that my family not be destroyed. Prior to his upcoming game, Kyle, who has been wounded, is reportedly entirely focused on his football game.